Hola everybody, a few months ago I made a very costly mistake. I accidentally installed a software upgrade on my Epson XP4100 that I turned from a regular printer into a sublimation printer. I have a whole video on how I did that. I'm gonna leave it linked below just in case you guys haven't watched it or if you're curious to see how I turned a regular working printer into a sublimation printer. I had some sublimation things to make for Christmas time and I turned on my printer and it said something about updating the software or the firmware and I clicked OK. After that, it no longer accepted non-OEM cartridges. So I was kind of effed at that point because I couldn't do anything. I have tried. This was months ago and I've tried everything that you can think of. I can only use it as a regular printer now. I've been searching for that printer or a similar one on Facebook Marketplace. Everybody wants a crazy amount of money. I don't want to buy a brand new because it was, I think it's... The cheapest I could buy it now is like 70 bucks, but I don't want to spend that money because the one that I have, it, I got for free. My best friend gifted it to me, but I ended up finding one for 20 bucks and it's that one right there. It's not the same exact one. This one's XP4105, but it takes the same cartridges, so I should have no issues. The only thing I have to figure out is if it'll work. If they have already installed the latest firmware update, then I'm screwed because I can't use it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this works. This is my 4100. Let me just remove it from here and then I'm just gonna put it on my desk so it could be accessible. That way when I'm doing everything, it'll just be easier to work with both machines back and forth. Already, I'm liking this newer printer better because the power cable is so long. I'm connecting both printers so I can check this one out one last time to see if there's any way I can salvage it. I don't know if you could tell the difference between these two printers. Let me turn this off. This is the one that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace and this is the one that I already had. Anytime I buy anything that's used, I always disinfect it first. So this is cleaned and this is not. This is all dusty and everything. Right as I was showing you guys the printers, my husband walked in and he made us lunch. I sat on the couch afterward, which right then and there, I shouldn't have done that. About a year ago or something when I was working full time and then I was working on my business at nighttime. I was burnt out. Right around that time though, I got a sponsorship for a company called Magic Mind. Thinking about it now, it couldn't have come at a better time because those shots actually worked. They sent me like a whole box to try and I did it for 14 days. At first I wasn't really noticing a difference, but I can tell you that my caffeine intake went from two to three cups of coffee a day to one and that was just one in the morning. And ever since then, I kid you not, I have been drinking one cup of coffee a day. Just my morning coffee and that is it. I have purchased another box of Magic Mind ever since my other two ran out. Whenever I feel like I need an extra boost, especially if I feel like I'm not motivated to continue working after that lunch break, I take a Magic Mind shot and it motivates me. I can't even explain it. I'm feeling unmotivated. I take a shot and half an hour 10 hour later i feel so motivated to do everything and i'm feeling good i feel like i don't need more hours in the day with that being said i have a magic mind shot here i'm definitely gonna take it because i feel like i want to go take a nap i want to lay down and kind of not do anything but i have to finish some orders get to the post office by four and i also have to finish telling you guys about these printers because i have a sublimation thing that i need i know once i take this i'll be a-okay cheers You know what's a big pet peeve of mine? When people show themselves eating or drinking on camera. Let's get back into figuring out if the sublimation printers will work. All right, I've got this one plugged in. This is the 4100. I'm just gonna turn it on. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, it's so dusty. What happened? I turned it on, but it's not working. Is it connected? Oh, I plugged in the wrong thing. There we go. Now it's plugged in. You see the message I get? I cannot recognize ink cartridge. Try installing again. And I have plenty times. And it goes through the whole process but doesn't let me continue. See? Really quickly, I'm going to refer back to my video that I posted last year. Just so that I make sure that I take the proper steps for this one. Alright, in the video, apparently, I just turned it on. Hold on, I need this one on because I need to take that out. But in the video, I just turn it on and start by taking out the cartridges that were already there. Hola. 
all I had to do was click replace in cartridges and then it moved over for me All right, moment of truth. It worked, but it's saying that my ink is low. So that just means I have to replace the chips. The ones that I buy is not a chipless thing, so I have to buy the chips. The ink that came with this printer, which is the original Epson ink, I put it in this printer. So now that it's working, it's letting me go to settings. And apparently, if you go to settings and go to restore default or something like that, then it's supposed to restore it from the very beginning. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Restore. Yes, I'm going to restore everything okay how do i know if it i'm gonna try to change the ink i'm replacing it with the sublimation ink and it seems to be taking let's see Oh, okay, no, it's not taking it. So far, everything is looking good. I'm just doing some maintenance on it. This is what finally printed. This is, I think, the closest I'm going to get it to printing fine. Because look, this is as good as it's going to get. Because I printed it many times. I'm going to try my first print with the sublimation ink. I just have to turn this back on because I did turn it off earlier. I'm using a sub sublimation paper. All right, so we're going to go ahead and print it. And I believe the settings are photo matte paper. Let me just double check. Premium matte paper. So yeah, matte paper. Let me just write it on this side. I like to leave notes for myself. And there you go, you just print. Printed. It looks really really dull because if you know anything about sublimation, it generally looks dull when it's printed But then once you put it on your surface, it'll look much better as far as the colors and the design that I'm using here It's a lighter design anyway. I am finally going to attempt to sublimate this It was a fail because I forgot to change the settings of my heat press. The last time I heat pressed anything, I did DTF. And the DTF is different than the sublimation settings. I printed the images again using the sublimation printer. I can officially say that it works 100%. I have no issues. As long as you have a printer that hasn't been updated, then you should be good to go. Once you update that firmware, that's when you're going to have an issue. Anyway, I printed these images again. I looked at the instructions and it said 385 for 60 to 70 seconds i pressed on 299 for 20 seconds so that's why it didn't work so i'm gonna try it again take two i'm gonna end this video now i shared what i 
pretty much had to share with you guys which is turning a regular epsom printer into a sublimation printer this is the second time i do this i feel like a pro i feel good about this i have to leave a little note on my printer that says do not update firmware because i don't print for sublimation often i feel like i'm gonna forget so i'm gonna make a little note and i'm gonna put it on the printer so that way i know not to update the firmware you guys also make note of it too don't update your firmware because otherwise you're gonna lose your sublimation printer i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you found it useful if you have any questions for me as always leave them in the comments down below i always answer all your questions even if i don't know something i'll try my best also don't forget to check out magic mind i literally just took my shot again because i needed that little pick me up they gave me a coupon code but honestly i don't remember how much it was for when it comes to working with this brand i'm not looking too into the specifics because i genuinely like the brand i have purchased with my own money i've used other people's links because i don't think i could use my own i felt like that was cheating but lucky for you guys you get to use my code and i just looked it up it's 56 percent off your first subscription box i have a link but it's pretty long so i'll leave it in the description box and the code is stephanie crafts two zero s-t-e-f-f-a-n-y-c-r-a-f-t-s two zero that's a discount code i had to spell out my name because a lot of you guys forget that it's two f's a lot of people put two n's instead of two f's i find that fun and shout out to you guys for always showing me love for always showing me support and i'll talk to you guys in a couple days bye